Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'firuhu wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiyati amalina. Man yaadihi allahu falamudilla lah wa man yudhil falahadiyya lah wa ashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. So welcome to all of you for the lectures for Arab al-Quran. <clears throat> Actually, we have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this opportunity to uh, to, uh, to start this uh, program. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give barakah in uh, our learning, our studying, our teaching, our understanding. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our uh, hearts to understand uh, this uh, study. So uh, we, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and open our hearts because it is very important uh, to pray actually. Nothing is in our hand. We can try our best. We can uh, do whatever we can do. But until it is not opened by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we cannot do anything. So we have to ask for the help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, Aisha, can you recite Surah Al-Nas? Okay, Aisha, recite Surah Al-Nas. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbin Nas Malikin Nas Ilahin ناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بارك الله فيك سو so, الحمد لله شي ريسايتد سورة الناس تقبل الله منها so Surah Al-Nas, actually, it is the Surah number 114, and it is the Makki Surah. We have to know this, uh, this thing that uh, this Surah was descended in Makkah. And the verses are five, and the name of the chapter is An-Nas. An-Nas means the mankind. Okay, one minute, I need to adjust this mic again because uh, it cannot help. Okay, Surah Al-Nas. So before uh, entering into Surah Al-Nas, there are many things we need to learn. So we are starting from today, Arab Al-Aya. What does it mean? What does Arab mean? You are listening from me. You are maybe reading in the books, Arab Un, Arab Un, Arab Al-Quran, Arab Al-Hadith, Arab Al-Aya. What does it mean actually? What does Arab Un mean? Arab identifying the role of a word in a sentence means we have to ident identify each of the word that word this word in the quran or in the verse or in the ayah what what's the role of that uh, word it is called era for example kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas from here until one nas every word this is a word every word has its own role in the sentence so we have we have to recognize that role we have to identify that this word is having which role and which situation then we can translate and then we can understand it deeply because always understand if you know arabic language and you can do arab then you can know quran the ayat of quran verses of quran uh, extra than the translation you can understand the real situations inshallah you will feel uh, you will start feeling uh, very soon so be patient it's uh, this thing requires a lot of patience from you number one number two you have to you have to learn new things even in today's lecture there will be some new things which will be added in your learning in your grammar so as i said the grammar course is completed now you have lots of information in your mind you have to collect all those information maybe the 50 percent of those or 40 percent of those information you have to apply today because everything will come. So we'll go slowly, slowly. 
will go maybe verse by verse or two verses or three verses. However, uh, how it will work, we'll see. So uh, I will help you in the beginning. I'll help you for each and everything. And then I'll start expecting from you to answer me or to give me the details. But in the beginning, surely I'll help you. I'll ask you questions. No problem. If you give wrong answer, even until the last lecture, no problem. I'm here to correct it, inshallah, bismillah. So by with the Arab, there will be an explanation also. You have to, we have to understand, even I and we all, we together we have to understand the meanings also. Arab ta'avuz. So what is ta'avuz? Ta'avuz, to, uh, it means to, to seek uh, uh, refuge. You want to take protection. So Arab ta'avuz. Ta'avuz we know, we are maybe learning from the childhood. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim so first of all, this sentence is in front of you. If I will ask a question, Aisha, the sentence is in front of you. First of all, you have to identify that this sentence is verbal or nominal. Uh, it's a verbal. It's a verbal. Okay. How you will describe it is a verbal? Uh, because it starts with a verb. It starts with the verb. Very good. That is the correct answer. Remember, before starting the Arab of any ayah or any hadith or any Arabic sentence, you have first to determine that this sentence is a verbal sentence or a nominal sentence. Because now you have in your mind that uh, this sentence is starting from verb, tense, or the noun. So now you, you already described that this is the verbal sentence. Now the next thing, Sana Afzal, can you identify yes. the first word, which is verb already, as uh, our sister told Aisha? This is a verbal sentence starting from the verb a'udhu. This a'udhu is which type of verb? Mudare or mazi or amr? Sir, it is uh, muzare. It is muzare. muzare. It is fe'lul mudare. Present tense. Al fe'lul mudare. A'udhu. The next question, Ghazala Yasmin, tell me. What is the root letter? Sir, Ayn, Vau, and Zal. Ayn, Vau, and Zal. Okay, this is the root letter. This is the second thing we need to identify. So we've done two questions. First, it is a present sentence. Second, it is uh, yeah, the root letters are Ayn, Vau, Zal. And from which chapter it is coming? Noon. Okay, this, this is a part of vocabulary. This will start building slowly, slowly. So you have to keep, uh, keep remember, the, you have to note these things. So... Inshallah, uh, within a within few surah, you will start remembering the ab, uh, abwab of uh, the root letters. Inshallah. So ayn Baudal, it is coming from noon. If it is coming from noon, Diva, can you tell me what will be the madhi and mudare? The first uh, siga. Yes, sir. It will be aza yaudu. Very good. It will be aza yaudu. Now. The next question, what is the file? Can you tell me, Aisha Dania, what is the file? Ana. Ana. So file, Ana, which is <laughs> mustatir, hidden inside. Audu. Ana is the file. So if I ask Ghazala, what is the identification of file? How you recognize the file is Ana? So because there is no apparent file outside, which is in marfu state, so it is hidden in it. Okay, so uh, now you have to remember that in fail mudare, if I want to identify file ana, you have one alif here, alif with fatha. Okay. Yes, sir. This is the identification of ana. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, we studied fail mudare can be marfu, it can be mansub, it can be majzum. So diba, this fail mudare, it is which marfu, majzum, or mansub. So this is marfu. It is marfu. Very good. It is marfu. If it was mansub, how it could be, Sana? So there should be some uh, harf before it. And leave it. it leave uh, it. No. 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 no, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 it There should be uh, uh, fatha in place of. Yes. Uh, auda. Auda. Mm -hmm. And if it is mm -hmm. majzum, it will be auz. Wow will be drawn auz. because majzum. Mm -hmm. Not wow mm -hmm. will keep it. Auz. It will be auz. Okay, oh. alhamdulillah. So we, uh, this is how we need to do Arab. So we, we completed one, one full verb we completed, a'uzu. 
So what is the translation of Auzu? Since at the Auz, it means to take refuse, to seek refuse. So Aisha, how you will translate Auzu? Um, I seek refuge or I seek protection. I seek refuge. I, re I seek refuge. So I want to be a refugee. I want to be in someone's protection. Okay. Auzu. I seek refuge. Refuge. So next is Billahi. Now tell me Ghazala. What is Ba? Ba is Harfujar. Ba is Harfujar. Good. Uh, in English, we call it preposition. It is Harfujar. And this, in, in grammatical language, the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always pronounced as Lafzul Jalala. Okay, Diba? Yes, sir. We will always say Lafzul Jalala file, Lafzul Jalala mansub, Lafzul Jalala majroor. Okay. Yes. So now tell me, what is the condition of Lafzul Jalala here? It is majroor. It is majroor because of ba. So when in Jumla Sulfa preposition and majroor noun, majroor means genitive noun is coming followed by preposition, how we'll call it? File, maf'ool, or something else? So mutalik fail. Mutalik fail. Very good. Related to verb. Mutalik fail. So now. The translation, I seek refuge with Allah. I seek refuge with Allah. I seek refuge with Allah. It means I am coming into, into the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now remember, there, is, there are parts for ta'awuz. Number one, who is seeking refuge? Okay. Who is seeking? Number two, after taking refuge, in which, in whose protection we are going? Okay, you have to remember three who, correct? Three who. Am I right, Sana? Yes, sir. How three who? Uh, from whom uh, we are uh, seeking refuge See, and first, who is who one is taking, refuge. and who, who one we refuge. have to go in the protection, and from who we have to run for for protection. Okay. So, here the first who is who? Ana, Auzu. And in which, with who we are going to be protected? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the second part. The first part, this is the second part. So, always remember, if we want to take refuge with who, it will always come with Bahar Fujar. Correct? Always remember. In Auzu, Aza ya Auzu, always. We are seeking protection with who it will be with Ba. And from the guy or from the thing we want protection, it will be with Min Harfujar. It is compulsory part of Auzu verb. So Auzu Billahi, I seek, seek refuge with Allah. Now we'll move to the next portion. Diva, can you tell me this Minash Shaitan al Rajim, this full, this full. Uh, portion, how you will relate with the verb? What it is? File, maf'ool or mut'alik? So this is mut'alik. This is mut'alik. Very good. Now the next question. Iram, can you tell me? Ash-shaytan ar rajim It is which compound? Sir, it is murakkabu tawsifi. It is murakkabu It is murakkabu tawsifi. Adjective phrase. Okay. Now, who is Mansub here? Uh, can you tell me, uh, Rabia Lucky? What is uh, Mausuf here? Uh, is the Rajim. Rajim Mausuf or uh, Shaitan. Mausuf. No, this is C oh, no, no. Shaitan is Mausuf. Sifat is uh, Rajim. Sorry, sir. Okay. Always be slow. You need to keep, we need to keep some basics in mind that in in an adjective phrase, Mausuf will always be the number one. And the adjective sil, sift will be following its mausuf. Okay. Now, as shaitan, it is what? It is mausuf. Mausuf. Why it is majroor, Rabia? Uh, min, harfjar. Yes, because min, harf of jar. min. Now, ar rajimi, iram, why it is majroor? Because it's following uh, mausuf. They have it to be matched. Following mausuf. Very good. It is called sifa. So it is following its mausuf. Now uh, we have uh, uh, 
dan da dan da irab for this ta'awuz a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim now i seek refuge with allah rabi alaki can you translate minash shaitanir rajim ar rajim accursed shaitan is devil so now can you create uh, translation uh, from accursed uh, uh, shaitan from the accursed devil okay oh yeah oh, a devil yeah okay now if i'll ask you a question <clears throat> what is shaitan rabia what is shaitan mm. shaitan uh, okay first who tell me is who that? is shaitan who is shaitan uh, if, if this there are two kind of shaitan uh, one shaitan is inside us. No, no, and one no, is... no, no. Just tell me this one. Who is this one? Uh, Which is mentioned this here. Is Ibl uh, this is Iblis. This is Iblis. Correct. Simple. Keep it very oh, simple. Sorry. This is Iblis. Okay. This is Iblis. Now, why Iblis is not used? Why a shaitan used? Uh, that is uh, because it's... Uh, Specifically, that shaitan. I'll, this is definitely that's why is a as shaitan. Okay, Sana. Ali why is sh as shaitan used? Why the name of Iblis is not here? Why were not say Auzu billahi min Iblis regime? So in I think in uh, in uh, when shaitan is used, uh, all the categories are combined in this. Uh, you can say that. Uh, okay. Now we'll it make it, uh, you are almost all near. We'll make it simple. Remember, actually, Iblis has his offsprings, correct? Yeah. Those offsprings are called what? Shaitan. All called jinn. Okay. Jinn. Okay. Jinn is an offspring of Iblis, correct? Now remember, from the jinns who are Muslim, they will be called always jinn, and who are non-Muslim, they will be called shay shayateen. Do you know that? No, not like this. Okay, they will be called shayateen. And what is shayateen? It is the plural of shaitan. Hmm. It is the plural of shaitan. So it's mean Iblis, why he has been not given name Iblis here? Because Shaitan, it, this name is coming from Arabic language. The root letter is Sheen, Ta, Noon. It, the meaning of it, who distanced himself. Who distanced mm -hmm. himself. How he distanced? He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to do something, correct? Hmm. And he yeah. refused. What he done? He distanced himself from Allah. Hmm. So that's why he is given name as Shaitan. His name was Iblis. That's why his name was not used. His characteristics is used here. A'udhu Billahi. I seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the accursed devil. Now this devil, he directly can be Iblis and can be appointee of Iblis. Because Iblis appoints some shayateen with us. Now, we'll come to our regime. What is our regime? Ashifa, tell me what is the root letter in our regime? ra ja ma ra ra jim not ja ra jim and meem can you tell me, Aisha, what is the weight of a regime? What is the weight? <laughs> if we want to uh, extract the weight of noun, like failun, <laughs> mafulun, what kind of weight is coming in your mind, Aisha Dania? Failun. <laughs> failun, very good. Failun. Now, slowly, slowly, you have to maybe add a few more things. Failun. Now, remember, this failun, uh, it is actually. Ismul maf'ool. Okay, Sana Afzal? Yes, sir. It is Ismul maf'ool. Now, from the same, we have maf'oolun marjoomun from the same letter. In Quran, available, marjoom. 
marjum who is marjum there are two meanings number one who has been characterized with the bad things and second who has been stoned is called marjum rajam to stone someone rajam for example iblis marjumun iblis is marjum why iblis is marjum because he was stoned for example and the second meaning in arabic language for marjum the guy who has been always discussed badly not because he is he is not because he is bad so we'll, we we are saying bad words for him so that is called marjum accursed so that that is <clears throat> that is the sifa of shaitan because he is accursed why he was accursed because he he disobeyed the order of command of allah subhanahu wa taala now uh, we we are starting from a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem whenever we have to recite quran we have to say when we are angry we have to say a'udhu billah why we have to say a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem when we are angry can you tell me diba yes to, why? Uh, so that the shaitan should go away from us what shaitan does so he 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 brings anger to us yes he will actually he will raise our anger he will come and tell the bad thing remember yes. shaitan will not advise us for good thing he is the biggest enemy he is the only biggest enemy of the human being of the human starting from adam alayhi salatu wasalam he started from there and he will keep trying until the tauba door is closed he will keep trying that until that time so he will keep trying this is his uh, mission so he is on mission so he will not give us any good uh, good advice or good uh, good word so he is always trying to uh, ditch us in any point so we have to say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem especially 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 when we are reading quran we are reciting quran we have because he can come to you he can come to me and he can give us the wrong meaning he can give us the wrong feeling he can create the wrong misconceptions mis guidance he can create when you are for example we are doing arab we are trying to understand the meaning he will come he will tell you no there is another meaning like this it can be applied like this this guy is telling you wrong so what you are reading what is the benefit so he he will come to you because this is his mission so he is on a mission so that's why we have been commanded that in quran it is available that whenever you start reciting quran so take the seek the refuge of uh, with allah subhanahu wa taala from the cursed devil so that's why we are starting this from this uh, at ta'awuz alhamdulillah we have completed it and the next is at tasmiya to say bismillah bismillah arrahman arrahim now tell me sabiha bismillah arrahman arrahim is it a complete sentence no sir it is not complete why you are saying it is not complete because it is not starting with a noun or a verb yeah it is not starting with a noun or verb and even in the next words we don't ha have anything the basic like for example it can happen that mubtada can be muakhar correct mubtada can be yes. delayed but since yes. we are not observing any marfu noun correct yes we don't have any marfu noun so it means it is an incomplete sentence it is decided it is incomplete so now if it is incomplete then how will construct it will uh, decide it the scholars they have said that because we say bismillah first we will come into bismillah it is mutalliqu mahzuf this is something related to the mahzuf which is not available we will discuss on that what is not available how it can be now sana afzal can you tell me that ismullah which murakkab rabia lucky can you tell me ismullah which murakkab ismullah ism allah oh, ismullah mudaf mudaf ilayhi yes ismullah mudaf mudaf ilayhi 
Now, this ismi, actually, Aleph is dropped here. This is an Arabic language uh, in Bismillah, Aleph is always dropped. So, this is the mudaf, correct? Yep. So, in mudaf, why mudaf is majroor? Uh, with uh, B, a harf jar. With Ba, harf, harf jar. jar. Not B, we'll call it Ba, okay? Because of Ba, harf jar, mudaf is majroor. So how you will translate Bismillah? With Allah's name. With the name of Allah. Bismillah. With the name of Allah. What Ba translate we do? With. And Ismullah, the name of Allah. With the name of Allah. With the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What I do. Okay. Now, uh, we said Bismillah. Now, remember, what is Mahzuf? It can be verb. Okay? It can be verb. For example, you are starting reading. What you will say? It will, because that's why, what I am always thinking, that's why here it is mahzuf, that our action can change. Sometimes we are reading, sometimes we are eating, sometimes uh, we are drinking, sometimes we are entering the house, sometimes we are entering in the masjid, sometimes we are entering in the car. So we are doing different actions, correct, Diba? Yes, sir. We are doing different actions. So it depends on the action. It means any action I'm saying, I, I, uh, for example, I start eating. I will not say that I will start eating with the name of Allah. I will just say Bismillah because my action is already known. Wh what is my action? I'm starting eating. So I'll say Bismillah. I'm Starting eating with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillah. So verb, it can be aqra'u. For example, I am reading aqra'u. I will read in the, with the name of Allah. For example, abda'u. This is the famous one. Abda'u. Anything abda'u. Bada'a yabda'u from chapter fatah to, to start. Abda'u bismillahi. I am starting with the name of Allah. Abda'u bismillahi. Aakulu bismillahi. Asuku bismillahi. Asuku. Saka yasuku. To drive. Asuku bismillahi. I drive with the name of Allah. So, some ulama, some scholars, they said a verb is omitted here. Some said no. The masdar of this all, kiraati bismillahi. So, my reading with the name of Allah. But mostly, they are agreed that the verb is omitted here. So I hope you have understood this point. Bismillahi bahar fujar ismullah murakkabun idafiyun. Okay, ar rahman ar ar rahim. Now tell me, Iram, ar rahmani, why it is majroor? Because it is sifa of uh, lafzul jalala. Very good. This is sifa of lafzul jalala. Always remember a noun. Uh, there could be, for, for example, ism, it is majroor because of bahar fujar. Ar rahmani it is maj majroor, we have to identify because why? It is, it means it is following someone. It is called tabe. It means it is following someone. So we have to identify it is following in which. Now, welcome to what is the following? Following can be sifa. It is number one point. Okay. And another thing in following, it is called badal. What is it called? Badal. Badal. What is the difference between sifa and badal? The scenario is same, but the, there is a little different. Sifa, it is mostly drived. Okay. What it is? Drived. You know drived? Remember or forget? Diba, you remember? So, uh, derived from derived, the last... Derived, not derived, derived. Okay, so it has been derived from the last sentence, uh, like uh, for, like with Ismu Masul, we do it. Uh, you also forget. So, you need to remember these points. Asma Mushtaqat, like Ismul Fail, Ismul Maful, which are derived, okay? So, okay. mostly... We have to see, we have to categorize sifa or badal on this basis. If the noun is not from derived, then we have to call it badal. Badal means substitute. So substitute also follows the Arab. 
Now, Ar-Rahman, it is from the derived. And Ar-Rahim, it is also from derived. Why? But today we will not discuss about it. The root letter is what? Diba, can you tell me the root letter for both? Yes, sir. Ra-ha-meem. Ra-ha-meem. The root letter is same for both, correct? Yes, sir. One, it is on the weight of Fa'alanu. Okay? Fa'alanu. Rahmanu. And it is on the weight of Fa'ilun. These both weights are from some special nouns. Today we will not discuss it. It will be very heavy on you. We will keep it simple. We will try to focus on what you already know. So this, uh, this, this will be a separate topic. After few lectures, inshallah, maybe two, three weeks, we will open this topic back again, inshallah. I will try to explain. Uh... So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We decided Ar Rahmani and Ar Rahimi both are Sifa for who? For Lafzul Jalala. So it's mean Lafzul Jalala, it is having how many positions? Nuruz Zuha. So, uh, Ismul Jalala is having how many uh, positions? One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, what you said. What does it? Did you understand my question? Uh, position, sir. You told Ar Rahmani. Okay. Ar I tell you. Um, the question I I mean. Now these are the positions like Ismu Mudaf. Lafzu Jalala Mudafile. This is the position. Okay. Diba, you got it? You got the question? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, tell me what are the positions of uh, Lafzu Jalala? Yeah, so Lafzu Jalala on the first position, it is uh, Muzafile. Very good. For Ismu, uh, it is Muzafile. And then it is uh, Muzaf for Rahmani. No, oh, sorry, it is Mosuf. Uh, it is Mosuf. Mosuf, yes. Only sir. two positions. There is no nothing else. Okay. So, you can observe that same Lafzul Jalala, it is having two positions. One is Mudafile for Ism and Mosu for Ar Rahman. So, yes. this is how you need to identify the positions. Okay, Nuruz Zuha? Yes, Alhamdulillah, sir. I got okay. it. Okay. Now, can you translate Nuruz Zuha? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahimi. In the name of Allah, the most uh, merciful and always all merciful. Okay, there are two meanings. Uh, it, it is normally done. Uh, all uh, The most merciful and the always merciful. And in some books it is translated in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. So Ar-Rahman, they are translating it as gracious. So what is, now we, we need to know the, what is the difference between Ar-Rahman and Rahim. So scholars have explained about it. They said Ar-Rahman, it means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is giving, is bestowing everyone, even his believer or disbeliever. He, For example, if someone is not believing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but still Allah is giving him life, giving him wealth, giving him children, giving him uh, uh, health. So he is not caring about... Uh, his acceptance or no. But Ar-Rahim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has announced in Quran that Allah is Rahim for the Muslims, for the Mumin. So, it this, these both nouns are derived from Ar-Rahma, Raha Meem. The nouns are different, but root letter is same and the Masdar is same. They are coming from both. And uh, why they both are uh, different, that topic I'm still, de I will delay it. But you have to keep in mind that Ar-Rahman, it means he is merciful. He is gracious to all, even they believe or they don't believe. He give food to them, he give health to, the, to, the, to, them, to them, the children. And Ar-Rahim, he especially, uh, this is a special relation with the Muslim. So Alhamdulillah, even in the Muslims, if they are uh, disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, still Allah is Rahman. He is giving them. He is not angry. He is giving them. He is testing. So, that is how A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim uh, Please relax. Don't take the stress because it is the starting. That's why maybe slightly you will feel pressurized. 
these are the basic informations. You already know all these things. Now we are just collecting it. Now we'll come to the next point. Now tell me, Rabia Lucky, this sentence is a verbal sentence or nominal sentence? Verbal sentence. It is a verb. How you would recognize that that is a verbal sentence? This is cool. Cool. There is a fill amar. No, next question I'll ask. It is the verb. Okay. This is clear. Now it's a verbal sentence. Now tell me, Rabia, cool. It is which verb? Past. You have three choice. Past, future, present, or uh, imperative. Amar. Imperative. Now, Amar, feel Amar, imperative. Very good. It is imperative tense. Okay. How will recognize imperative tense? There is a um, sukun on last letter. Yes, very good. It will be majzoom. So, simply in Arabic term, it will be what? Majzoom. Maj and the second, it will be from the third person, second person, or first person. It will be a um, uh, third person. No, oh. I think it's second person. Oh, second person, Anta. Yes. Sorry. This Anta. <laughs> so this all will be from second person only. It is yep. clear. Very good. Okay. Now, Shabnam, can you join? Sonia Nuzhat. Yep. Sonia Nuzhat. What is the root letter of Kul? Kaf Baulam. Kaf Baulam. And the chapter is Noon. Kala Yakulu. Now, what is the file of Kul? File um, um, Anta. Anta, which is Mustatir, hidden inside. So, Anta. Yes. So, what does it mean, Kul? Say. You say. say. Kul. Say. Very simple. Kul. Say. So, now, another point you have to add in your notes that kul se or kala, he said, yakulu, he says. Now, whatever ha have to be said, it is called makula. Whatever has to be said, it is called what? Rabia, it is called what? Makula. Makula. Whatever we will say, it will be makula. And another point, makula will always be a sentence, complete sentence. Understood? Yes, sir. Deepa Freed, what, what makula will be? Sir, it will be the sentence which will come after kul, yakulu, or kala. It will I be a complete sentence. Yes, you are correct. Whatever we will say will be called makula. This is the first point. Second. This makula will be will be a complete sentence. It means mubtada, khabar, fail, file, maful, everything can be inside. So it will not be an incomplete sentence. Correct? Understood? Keep in you have to keep in mind. Because yes. in Google form, there will be some questions which will be related from the lectures. So it means the, the guy who will listen to the lecture can answer the questions. He cannot roughly click yes, no, yes, no. So that that's why you have to. Keep the points in your mind. So, cool. Now, full surah until the end is makula. Okay, Ghazala Yasmin? Yes, sir. So, full surah from auzu until the end is what? Is the makula. Is makula. That what we have to say. Okay, now we'll move forward. Iram, auzu, it is a verb or noun? Sir, it is verb. What is the root letter? Ain, wow, dal. Which verb? Mudare, Mazi, or Amr? It is Mudare. Very good. So, what is the file? So, file is Ana. It is Mustatir. Very good. So, what does it mean? Kul, Audu. Say, I seek refuge. Say, I seek refuge. Very good. Bi Rabbin Nasi, Sonia Nuzhat. It is file, Maf'ul, or something else for Audu. Uh, uh, can you be la harfajar. loud, please? Other sister has to listen harfajar. to you. Ba harfajar, so it is a mutalik fail. Mutalik fail. Good. Rishna Sharmin, Rabbin Nasi, which murakkab? Okay. 
اوکے دیبا رب بن ناسی وچ مرکب مرکب اضافی اوکے ناؤ ٹیل می رشنا رب بن ناسی اٹ از وچ مرکب اس بی رب بی از بی حرف جار رب بی اس مجرور اس ان وہ ہوا مدد رب بی ان ناس مدد فی لئی ہی اوکے ویری گوڈ سو If I ask you a simple question, which murakkab is Rabbi Nasi? Uh, is a murakkab tawsifi? You just said that Rabbi is mudaf, <laughs> an nas mudaf ile, and now you are saying murakkab tawsifi. These both answers are uh, matching with each other? It is murakkab izafi. مرکب اضافی That's why I repeated the question اضافی مرکب اضافی Because I am here to ask you each point First that's why I wanted to ease the thing That first give me answer You'll tell مرکب اضافی Then we'll figure out which is مضاف Which is مضاف Okay Now رب is مضاف And الناسی مضاف Okay So how you were translated قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ الناس mankind رب it means the Lord can you translate with the Lord of Nas that means human being with the Lord of human being Aisha Daniya translate قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ a full sentence say I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind or in the Lord of mankind very good I seek refuge with the Lord of mankind what does it mean Lord okay we need to understand it why the rub word is used here remember this rub word is very special in Arabic language uh, in Arabic language for example any of you is housewife Rabbi are you a housewife yes housewife okay Housewife in Arabic language is called Rabbatun Rabbatul Bayt. What? Rabbatun Rabbatun Bayt. Rabbatul Bayt. Rabbatul Bayt. It is the monas of Rab. Rabbatun. Okay. It is called Rabbatul Bayt. So what do you do in your house? You put. You always take care of your children. You always take care of the house for the cleaning, for the uh, uh, management, for the kitchen, for the inner things. If you need, you ask your husband to do it or you try to do it yourself. So, I mean, you have lots of tasks to do, correct? Yep. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have lots of sifat. He is Razik, he is Khalik, he is Sami, he is Basir, correct? All these are in him. This Rabb, is a special thing that it contains lots of it it is containing khalik malik razik and so on you will continue malik and you can continue bari fatir all mostly which is related to the uh, to the human being and all this system all are included in rab because and it is attributed to who annas mankind rabbun nas because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing our all the things. He is giving us health. He is giving us wealth. He is, uh, he is planning for us for our, our life. He has, he has plans for us. Whatever we face the trouble, he gives us the plan. He gives us to, uh, to come out of this trouble. This Rabbun Nas. So when the, the, the matter was a big, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what or he ordered? Kul, say. I seek refuge with the Lord of mankind. It means we are going to, to take refuge of who? The biggest one. If you are in your uh, community and you have some pro problem, and what you will try to do? You will try to solve your problem to go with the biggest one there. He will, we think he, he, because he has powers, he will help me out. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered. So we have to say, but I want to stay, seek refuge only not um, uh, illa Allah. Except Allah, I will not take refuge of anyone. I want to take refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. Because why? Because he is Rabbun Nas. He is the Lord of the mankind. Okay, now the last ayah will do today. 
and uh, we'll uh, finalize our uh, topic. So, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbin Nasi. Now, next is Malikin Nasi. Aisha, Malikin Nas, which Murakkab? It is already written, but you have to tell uh, still. <laughs> Malik is uh, Mudaf and Nasi Mudaf Bilay. Very good. Murakkab Idafi. <laughs> Ilahun Nas, it is also Murakkab Idafi. Okay. <laughs> now, next question. Ghazala, why yes, An-Nasi is Majroor? So, because it is Mudaf Ilay. And, and why Malik is, is Majroor? Uh, so, because it is uh, Sifat of Rabbi. Okay. Now, here is the point that I discussed in the previous slide about Sifa and Badal. Okay? Yes, sir. Sifa and Badal. So, Sifa, if it is from drive, okay? Like Fa'ilun yes. and Maf'ulun, and there are some few also you'll st slowly start learning, like Ar-Rahim, it is from derived, Ar-Rahman also from derived, but there are, there are some special uh, restrictions there. Now, the scholars, they have differed. They are saying, Ilah and Malik, it is not from the derived, okay? Okay, sir. That's why if they are not derived, what do you call it? Badal. Badal for Rabbi. Very good. Badal. But there are some scholars, they consider it derived and they said it is Sifa. So either way it is correct. You okay. call it Sifa or you call it Badal. Okay? Yes, sir. But there will be specific points where you cannot call it Badal. Call it badal. If it is confirmed yeah. Asma Mushtaqat, like Fa'ilun and Maf'ulun, Yes. And like Fa'ilun, Fa'alanu, what the way you just uh, Rahman and Rahim, you will not call it Badal in any case. Okay? Now, because there yes. are difference of opinion on it, that's why it can go either way. Now, can you translate uh, Rabi Alaki, the full from Ul to Ilahin Nasi? Kul um, Auzu Bi Rabbin Nasi uh, uh, um, say I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, Malik in Nas, uh, the King of mankind, Ilahin Nas, uh, the God of uh, mankind. The God of mankind. Very good. So, Alhamdulillah. We learned today what? A'uzu billahi min shaitan al rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul a'uzu bi rabbin nasi, Malikin nasi, Ilahin Nas. So there is a hadith uh, which is uh, reported at that point that Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, seen, she narrated that whenever Allah's messenger, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, went to bed, he used to recite Surat al-Ikhlas, Surat al-Falaq and Surat al-Nas and then blow on his palms and pass them over his face and those parts of his body that his uh, hands could reach. And when he fell ill, he used to order me to do like that for him. Got it? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. What, what we learned from Quran, that first of all, uh, from the Sunnah, that if you fell ill, if you can do it, do it. If you cannot do it, tell to your husband or the ladies, they can tell to their, uh, their mother or their sister to do it. Okay? So... Before sleeping, just uh, join your both palms and read Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas and blow, uh, after reading three, three times, blow in your uh, palm and then just, uh, uh, just uh, move it to your body. Same as lying, don't, uh, uh, don't raise up from the bed. Okay, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Now your comments will tell me when you will... Uh, listen this lecture again always remember if you listen now you need to listen again also it will it will actually cementify this lecture it will it will be uh, it will be engraved on your uh, on your hearts or your mind otherwise it will not be engraved maybe you will forget some of the points because we have a sequence of three lectures then you will have four days off so you can listen these three lecture, lectures in four days again. So just remind, to remember what I said. So alhamdulillah, subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa baraka.